Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In a previous video, I showed you this Marx generator that I built. And in this video, what I will do is to add a trigger in order to fire the Marx generator at the moment that we want or need. As you just see, the Marx generator makes continuous firings at intervals. And what we want is that the generator fires when we press the trigger. In a Marx generator, the capacitors start to charge with high voltage. And when the voltage is sufficiently high, we get a spark in the first spark gap. This spark generates ultraviolet rays that ionize the air in the second spark gap, which also fires. And then, for the same reason, we have a spark in the third spark gap, and so on, until all of them are connected in series through the sparks, and we get the large big spark at these two points. Therefore, the key to fire the Marx generator at a precise moment is to control the first spark. The first thing we need to do is to reduce the input voltage so that all the capacitors are charged but the voltage is not enough for the first spark gap to fire spontaneously. And then there are basically two methods to make the first spark gap to fire. One of them is to reduce the distance of that spark gap and we can do it by putting a metal object between the terminals. Now, there is power in the Mars generator. I'm going to place the metal tip of the screwdriver. And then you can see that we got a fire of the Mars generator. So in this way, the Mars generator fires when we want. The second way to make the spark gap, the first spark gap to fire, is to apply an over voltage to its terminals. And for that, I'm going to use this electronic lighter. I have removed the tip so that the terminals are exposed. And as you know, when you press the trigger, a spark is produced in the terminals. Not sure if you can see the little spark, but that spark will raise the voltage enough to obtain a fire in the first spark gap. Okay, I changed my lighter because the other was failing, but it is now connected using these two wires to the first spark gap. So let's see if it works. Okay, there you have it. 
a Marx generator with trigger. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.